Welcome everybody. Different lake today. Thought I'd try a couple casts out here off the docks. And then I will hit the other side of those big rocks. As you can see, that is some nice clear water. That's around 12 foot depth in this location. Well, it's this exact spot. I'm gonna try this top water lure, that uh, lunker hunt popping bug. Ooh, that's way better. Way better. I used, uh, I tried it with uh, a metal leader not that long ago and uh, came in the mystery tackle box and it just did not react very well to that metal leader so but i just made a, a 60 pound monofilament leader hopefully it can stand up to a pike or two before uh, before it gets too frayed for me to keep tucking but we'll see we will see not exactly a good day for top water anyway it's a little bit choppy but it is uh pretty darn sunny and this is a a darker colored lure i prefer if i'm going to do top water on a sunny day to have a light colored lure but we'll see it does have that white face on it and does make quite a bit of noise there decided that top water was just not the trick today with uh how blue bluebird sky it is the dark colors not what they're gonna want for top water anyway so i thought maybe i'd just give this a couple chucks in this little little boat launch space first and then we'll hit the other side of the rocks and see if we spot anybody there this is that uh catch cool one they're a little spinner bait it is just awesome just awesome i love the movement for it and stuff and Kind of excited to see it coming back through the column. This is nice clean water, so I'll get a good look. Put a little uh, paddle tail on her as a trailer. A little exo swim. I think it's a 3.5 inch. Yep, yeah, that looks just sexy coming back. I did not put a bumper on, guys. I'm running straight 25 pound fluorocarbon for these pikes. So, only with this lure, though, I won't do that with a treble lure. Just uh, pike's mouth will get right onto this. So this is a wire lure, so I got the wire to, to help keep it uh, a little bit more away from the mouth. Man, that sure does make a lot of flashing under that water. Sure looks good coming back. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just insane, insane action. Easily my favorite spinner bait ever. For at least for the ones that I've tried, there's still tons out there I've never even looked at, so. Oh, somebody's coming to launch their boat. So I'll finish this cast, and, or this retrieve, and then we'll swap spots. So yeah, nice sized pike. I'll get back to him. They're very territorial. And we'll give Dot Water some time to rest after this uh, boat launches and stuff. And maybe I'll tie up a little finesse gear and say hello to the guy. So let's head out on these rocks. They are a little treacherous for the walk in. They get uh, a little wobbly at points. You got to be careful where you're stepping. So good fishing out here. Sometimes. Uh, well, depending today, I'm I'm betting maybe a bite an hour off of these off this whole point if I keep traveling back and forth. But I'm only going to be fishing for a teeny bit. I got to spend some time with my wife on the beach and maybe splash in the water. It's hot enough day for it. Some good walleye in this lake too. My personal best walleye came from this lake. And of course, didn't weigh it. I never weigh a fish. If you guys ever want me to start weighing them, I'll do it. But oop, I would much rather uh, cut short my handling of the fish as much as possible. The sooner they're back in the water, the healthier they're going to be. 
Ooh, big ball of bait right in front of me. Maybe I'll try slightly faster retrieve this time. some mighty nice recreational vehicles out here. Oh, I got a pike. Look at that. I'm coming, I'm coming, buddy. Let's go. I do have this barb list, so I'm not even going to... Oh, there he goes. As you said, I'm not even going to bother touching him. All right, everybody. Thought we'd hit another body of water today. Wife and I are out here doing a little bit of walleye fishing. She's using a pickerel rig. And I'm just chucking this and that. See you soon. I'm going to get rigged up. All right guys, just tied on a little little bait ball by live target. We'll see if we can catch some walleye. Ooh, a little closer than I wanted. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> okay. When took my lure, I'm gonna have to toss a little more that way. It's a nice, quiet spot that we're in. That's ah, better. Give them their space. Oh, and there's a walleye. Go ahead, baby. Oh, did it get off? Give it a try. Might still be on. Yeah, no worries. Do you feel anything? Probably not, eh? Nothing? No, okay. I'll bring it in and re-bait it then. He probably stole the bait. Thank you, baby. No, no worries, no worries. No worries. Wife's having a very hard time walking around, so I'll have to play smart. Yeah, we lost one, but that's all right. That's all right. We caught some weeds with the other. Just stick another shiner on here. Do you guys have panoptics on that or anything? So wouldn't that be nice to know exactly where the inlet comes in, eh? <laughs> Pipe only comes out about three feet from the bank. Oh, okay. And that would explain why I saw that fish jump there. Because it's not like there was a food source or something. Pretty sure I just had a nibble. Yep. A 
little walleye. Not so bad. So pretty. Love the colors and light. All right, off you go. <laughs> Fine. Fine, run. Got to fix my pickerel rig now. Just bent the heck out of it. Sort of tangled it. I'll get it figured out. Yeah, they do love these pickerel rigs. Oh, I lost them. I lost them right at shore. Looked like another walleye. Well, guys, I was going to do a bait versus, like a, a lure versus a bait challenge today, but I'm just not getting a chance at all to cast the lures. This bait is extremely effective. So, well, just keep on going. Roll with the punches, right? All right. Got my stand set up. Got the pickerel rig ready. Two shiners on it. Get that put in. Pick up our slack. Good stuff. Oh, no, not quite yet. Keep getting slack in my line. I think we're set. Good stuff. I think that'll do. If we get a bite, the tip of the rod will just start jigging away. Back way, have a seat for a minute. Whoa. And it was just a couple seconds. Yep, there we are again. There we are again. Probably another walleye. I wonder how big. Man, it's a good afternoon for fishing today. Like literally just 40 seconds in the water and you're on again. Oh, I got two on at the same time. They're both little guys, but <laughs> honey, check it out. Two at the same time, what are the odds? Yeah, yeah, just little itty bitty guys, but can I get you to come and hold the rod for me, please, while I deal with these guys? That's right, it was almost instant. So all you have to do is just hold it, and you don't have to reel them in or anything. <laughs> like I said, guys, just a matter of seconds, and bang, you're on again. All right, have me a seat. All right, come here, guys. One at a time, That's just right. a little guy hooked in the lip. Whoops. <laughs> Hard to get a grip while you're holding the pliers at the same time. Apparently he wants to stay on there. Well, I don't want him to stay on there. There, you can, you can bunch up all you like. Little set of hemostats, no, don't wiggle. That's one little guy off. Show him off. Oh, look at him just showing his little fins off. So cute. There's one gone. And this guy's just got a little more size. Let's bring him up. Take a peek. Okay, that's not so bad. You gotta be careful so they don't get spine yet because they do have spines on the top. So, another small little guy, nothing special. Try not to hold him too tight or anything when I hold him like that. Ha, he still has a shiner in his mouth. See you later, buddy, enjoy your shiner. He was in the process of spitting it up and then he, I let him go and he stopped. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever, he got a good meal out of it. <laughs> Freebie, awesome, awesome. 
Rinse my hands. We'll reload again, guys. All right. Hopefully you guys are getting good shots of these walleye. guys we hit two different lakes this weekend the first one it was uh, extremely busy from that tourney there were so many boats and they kept on trolling right past me I landed the one pike and said that's that's enough I'm out of here let them have their space and you know fair's fair I left there and we went to a different place and I had intended on doing a, a bait loot versus lure challenge and that sure didn't work out I ended up actually just casting my bait after bait after bait I barely had enough time to tie on a, a lure never mind cast it so I lost track of what my GoPro was doing it was a really fun time and next time I'm gonna be there very soon again guys and I will not lose track of what my GoPro pros up to I caught seven to nine fish in just like a matter of just over an hour and a touch and uh, I was only able to show you three of them at least the the, the, the one time you guys got to see the two on one lure and uh, or one one rig which is you know my first ever so that was that was pretty cool I was I was kind of excited so you know like comment subscribe guys we'll show you that place again and I promise next time I will work my camera better thanks guys have a great day thanks for watching